Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to show you how you can add glyphs to your text to make them look pretty or prettier for Mac. So when we install a font to our device and Design Space uses our system fonts, it will take the basic characters of that font. However, a lot of fonts these days have extra characters. So we call those glyphs. So it's things like swirls, uh, extra letters that are a bit more kind of pretty, um, extra elements. Those could be images like hearts or different pictures. So lots of fonts now have lots of these extras, but Design Space can't access them without a little bit of help. So on Windows, we use a character map. On your iPhone or iPad, we use a Unicoder app. And for Mac, we use the Mac font book and we use these to help us find those extra characters and glyphs so that we can bring them into design space. So first things first I'm going to get my text and I'm just using Samantha today because it's an installed font so I'm just going to write my text and I'm then going to make it a font size of 200 just so that we can see it clearly. If I open up my Mac launchpad you can see I've got all my different apps here. If I go to other, you'll see that I've got font book. So I can open up my font book and I can also enter full screen so that I can see it nice and large. And I'm gonna find, I can see all my system fonts. So all the fonts that are already installed on my device and any fonts that I've then downloaded. I'm going to select the same font that I'm using in Design Space, which in this case is Samantha. And I'm going to scroll through until I find one of the characters that I want to work with. And in this case, I'm going to work with an L first of all. Okay, so I really like, actually, let's go with this one. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to come to the top of my Mac bar and I'm going to select Edit and copy so that I can copy that glyph. I can open up a text box in Design Space, get rid of this text, click with two fingers on my mouse pad and select paste. And that's gonna paste my glyph that I've chosen. So now I'm gonna go back into my font book and I'm gonna choose a Y. So I like this one here. There are some really beautiful elaborate ones. I'm going to choose that one because I want to add something onto the end of the tail. So again, I'm going to come to the top of my screen, select edit and copy, come back into design space, double click on my mouse pad and select paste. And again, I've come back into my font book and now I'm just going to choose one of the extra elements that are available. So I want to go for something, something that I can add to the end of that Y. So let's just go with a little heart. Again, come to the top, edit and copy. Come back into design space, double click my mouse pad and paste. So the first thing I want to do is make these the same size as this. So the font size on this is 200. So I want to make the font size on these 200. I'm then going to ungroup this by coming to ungroup so that my letters become individual. And then I'm going to do the same with this, ungroup it so that those letters become individual. So I'm going to get rid of this Y by deleting it and then bringing this Y over. And then the same with my L, I'm going to delete that and bring this one over. And then I'm just gonna add my heart just onto the end there. Now, if I just change this from a cut to a pen so that you can see what's going on, you can see that where it overlaps, we can see these extra pieces where all these areas overlap. And what's going to happen is Design Space will actually cut those out and it just ends up being a mess. 
So if I attach these together, this stays as it is. I don't want that. It just, it's horrific. It looks awful. It just looks horrible. I mean, you can see all the joins. It's not nice at all. So we need to weld. So anytime text, so letters or images or shapes overlap and you don't want it to be layered, you want them to create an overall flowing image, you need to weld. Now the thing with weld is that it is super glue. So attach is paper clipping, welding is like super glue. And if we weld and save and close design space down, when we come back in, we reopen the file, we cannot unweld. Now we can unattach something, but once something is saved and design space has been closed down, we cannot then unweld something. So we can, if I weld it now and I go to back, that will obviously unweld it. But if I've saved and, and closed it down, I can't unweld. So what I always recommend doing is saving it whilst it's like this, welding it, cutting it, and then if you come back into that file and you want to change one of the letters for something else, you can simply unattach it and swap out one of the letters without having to redo the whole thing. You can see that we've currently got everything overlapped. If I weld, we can see that those are now welded. We can change it back to a cut. And we can then go cut it out without having all of these awful overlapped pieces getting cut out. So that's how you add your glyphs into Design Space on Mac. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.